So we've had a look at how the eagles themselves are put together. Now we're going to look at how they live. So how do the wedge-tailed eagles live? So if we go through their life cycle, first of all it starts in about June, July when the, an adult breeding pair will start feeling a bit frisky and they'll start lining a nest. The male will do lots of this behaviour which sometimes you might see if you look up where the adult male dives down, comes back up, dives down again, comes back up. This is them just getting ready to start breeding. Then usually around late August to mid-September an egg is finally laid in the nest. So this is about so big, about seven and a half centimetres long. Then the egg is incubated by the female predominantly, but occasionally the male will come in and help. And they'll stay looking after that egg for about 45 days until the egg hatches and reveals a small little fluffy white chick. And that little white chick will be incubated and looked for very carefully up for that first couple of weeks, pretty much like it was an egg. So whilst the chick is very small, the adult female will be spending most of her time at the nest and the male will be provisioning her with food. So he'll go out, do the busy stuff, catch some prey, and bring it back to the nest to feed the mum and the chick. So the sort of food that the adult male is bringing in during this period can be all sorts of different things. And as part of my research, I had to go up to eagle nests, and on the eagle nest you can see remains of everything they've been eating, and this included things like cockatoos, blue tongue lizards, wallabies, paddy melons, there's all sorts of things up there, including even a uh, human sock on a nest on Mariah Island. So it takes about 12 and a half weeks that this chick is on the nest, coming out first as a little white fluffy ball about this big, and then by the time it reaches 12 weeks of age, it's a fully grown bird. So it's as big as a parent bird. And it's then the bird will finally be like, right, it's time, I'm gonna move out. And it will do this first scary jump and hopefully glide safely to another position in the forest. So after the birds make that first jump and fly off of the nest, most of them will keep coming back to the nest for a period of time as the parents probably keep delivering prey to that spot. But a few of the eagles I've been tracking, and once they've gone, they're gone and they never come back to their nest. But even though they've left their nest, they're still with their parents. So they're within their parents' territory and their parents are looking after them. And we think that this period of dependence, we call it, where they're staying with their parents, lasts about five months. That's what we thought. As part of my research, we found that they stay there much longer. So I have birds that are on average about eight months still with their parents. And a few birds don't want to move out at all and they stay there the next year. So if you see three eagles flying around, chances are it's probably mum, dad and a young bird. But she'll, the young bird will look as big as the parents. We've talked about the eagles having one chick, but occasionally in Tasmania, very occasionally, they will successfully fledge two chicks. So if you see four eagles, there is a chance that it will be an adult pair and two young. But it's more likely that if you see four eagles together, it's either a few young birds that aren't very territorial or two adult um, territorial pairs having a bit of a battle in the sky. So when we're talking about eagle territories, this means an area in the landscape that an adult breeding pair consider its home and they will defend it against other breeding birds. And eventually the young birds that have fledged the nest and been looked after by their parents for a few months will decide to leave their parents' territory. And this is where things get a bit exciting for them because they'll be flying around Tasmania for three to five years, we think, before they eventually settle in their own territory and start breeding. And the journeys they can take can be really huge. One of the eagles I was tracking, called Wyatt, um, flew all the way from the middle of Tasmania, right down to the southernmost point, all the way up to the furthest top point in the east, um, and now he's back in the middle somewhere. So they can travel huge distances. There's lots of things that we know about the life cycle of wedge-tailed eagles, but there's also a lot of things that we don't know about these birds. So some of the things include how big exactly are their territories and how much variability there is. So really there's still a lot that we need to learn about Tasmanian wedge-tailed eagles because there's a lot we don't know. Why Wedgie Why with me, James Payne. Why are wedge-tailed eagle chicks white when they're really young? Hmm, 